Hey there. I have a video about Walt Disney World coming out and I made my own Mickey ears for that trip because I had a vision for what I wanted and I couldn't find any tutorials or anyone selling something like it. And I know that when I release the Disney World video, I'm gonna get a ton of comments like, where did you get your ears? Who made your ears? So I thought to have something to point people towards, I would do a tutorial of how I made the Mickey ears. And we have someone to thank for this video, someone who gave me a deadline and the kick in the butt that I needed to make just normal content again and just get it out there. And that's today's sponsor. Thank you to Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring today's video. It's a unique three match game unlike any other on the market. You can go ahead and download the game for free using the link below on your mobile device or tablet. And that's actually a creator link, so if you use that and if you buy anything in the game, that helps me out and that would be cool. You can unlock so many different kinds of emojis like Disney, Pixar, and even Star Wars, and each of them has a specific power-up that you can use to beat high scores and even take on some of the Disney villains. They're constantly adding new emojis, and I learned that the emojis that you unlock in the game, you can use in your messages, like the ones you earn. I just got scrump from Lilo and Stitch. My favorite emoji is Jiminy Cricket, not because of his power-up, but because he looks like he's staring into your soul. Also, if you have no desire to actually follow this tutorial and are just here for the aesthetics, boy, do I have a deal for you. I'm going to be giving away the Mickey ears that you're about to see me make to one person who gets to level 10 on Emoji Blitz. All of the information for that is going to be in the description and at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Thank you very much to Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring this video and in part, kickstarting this little adventure I'm going on making regular content again. So these, these, these are the ears that I made originally. <laughs> and they held up surprisingly well because I'm not a crafty person. I, I do so, but I don't know what I'm doing. I never do. So this tutorial will be my first time making them from scratch, technically second, because we already filmed the close-ups and this is how it turned out. Haha! <laughs> so this is what we're gonna be making today. And step one is to have fun. Let's say your ears look really good in pictures, but look pretty gross up close. Just like me. Or maybe they look really cute, but they're actually falling apart. Just like me. Do not compare yourself to professional ear makers on Etsy. This is just a fun little craft and a way to express yourself. I made a cake for my birthday recently because that's a sad little tradition <laughs> that I have. And the cake didn't turn out great. And my boyfriend just said, Mo, stop looking at the cake like it's a metaphor. Also, we are still in the Panera bread. So I was limited to whatever I was able to order online and pick up at Michael's craft store. Um, so the first thing that you're gonna need is some headbands and these are all they had. Over it, sweet single. So you need a headband, a ribbon the color of your choice, foam sheets, fake flowers that take a while to put down, a needle and thread, and a hot glue gun to attach everything. You also need scissors, but I forgot to put that into the video. Also, if, if you're going into the comments being like, Oh, Momo, where's your old setup? I like it so much better. Me too. We agree on that. We can be miserable together. You don't have to inform me. Step one, take your headband. Step two, attach the ribbon. I'm gonna show you a couple ways you can do this. The first of which is measuring it out the length of the headband. Remember to leave a little bit at the ends to fold over the bottom of the headband. And then snipping along the sides as shown. Attach the ribbon to the headband using the hot glue and fold over your little snippy flaps um, onto the bottom of the headband. I'd suggest a bigger ribbon than what I'm using in this video. Here comes the smolder. I'm still wearing the Taken headband, oh my god. Because you do have to wrap it around the headband, so just keep that in mind. If you'd like to be very fancy, you can put a ribbon on the bottom to hide the seams but I'm not very fancy. So if you were hoping for like a coordinated, 
clean DIY for some Mickey ears. There's tons of videos like that, but here, on the Momo O'Brien channel, you get the unique experience of watching me struggle for however long this video ends up being. But that's okay, we can struggle together. Glue it at an angle down here. Um, so a mistake that I made in the close-ups is you have to sew the foam onto the top of the ears and I put glue on the top of the headband and my needle ended up getting stuck like in the glue. It, it worked. It was just more difficult than it needed to be. But that's life sometimes. But I am gonna put the glue just on the bottom of the headband this time around and see if that improves the, ow, final product. I feel like this isn't gonna work out well for me. I am very used to that feeling though. Oh my God, the glue is already hardening, come on. Na, 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 na. Should I be saving tape space? So you can use the snip and stick method or the wind around method and the only difference is kind of where they ended up looking ugly on the headband. Both of which are places that nobody else is really gonna see. The only one aware of the ugliness is you. Which is the only one that matters because I'm certainly gonna think about it all the time at 3 a.m. All right, so we have not gonna put it into my hair with hot glue still in it. We have a headband. These were a little harder to find because you don't want like a paper thin sheet of foam, which is still what I got. So I like doubled up in this tutorial because it has to be light enough that you can wear it on your head, but thick enough that it's not gonna go like, Ooh. like the foam on the original Mickey ears were like, is that a half an inch? So I just, I got this sheet and I folded it in half and it worked out pretty well. Place your headband on the foam sheets and trace the curvature of the headband so it can fit on nicely later and make yourself a little circle. My curvature is about two inches and the circle is about three and a half inches by four inches. Or as we call it in Canada, about the size of a hockey puck. Then using the first cutout as like a cookie cutter situation, cut out all your circles. In this case, I cut out four and attached the two of them together to have some like stiffness. Ow, ow, ow. That's okay. I lived. Okay. Now attach the foam ears to the headband using the needle and thread. Because I wrapped the ribbon it's still very thick, so maybe this is just gonna be a hard step regardless, but you can do it. I believe in you, and I'm proud of you for how it's turning out so far. So now you got an ear headband, and you could just leave it like this. If you are a freak! So now you can start taking the fake flowers apart and arranging them however you would like on your little ears. And this is where you can really let your creativity take flight. So if you're new to this channel, um, hello. This is a bizarre introduction to what I do here. Um, but I love flower crowns. I've made a lot of flower crowns, but I will spend like an hour in the craft store just wandering around, taking one flower, taking another, messing with the combinations and stuff. I think the last crown I actually made, I got to the counter and the girl at the counter was like, oh my God, this is so pretty. And like, I hadn't even made my craft yet gotta mean something. But uh, I was ordering online, so I could not do that. But I think it turned out pretty okay. See, like my style is very naturalistic. I utilize a lot of the leaves and the grass and, and, and stuff to make it look a little more like wild flowers. But as you can see here, there's only like a little green. You could use bright unnatural colored flowers or you could use more natural looking ones. This is where you can get really self-expressive with it. So my method is I like to glue the flowers like close to the top and then put more of the leaves and the greenery like close to the bottom so it does look like a little bush of flowers. But, you know, art is subjective. You could do whatever you want, man. You could glue like random crap onto this. Um, you could also paint the foam, which, you know, would probably be a good idea. You can, you can see from the side that um, there's like foam, but you know, that's a very specific angle that people are gonna be looking at this from. So I, it's, it's fine, dude. 
And if it doesn't turn out the way you envisioned in your head, that's okay. It's okay to try things and it's okay to fail. And your failures uh, don't define you. Now we got some floral ears. But what's this? Ugh, hideous. So I like to just put leaves at the back so you can save all the pretty stuff for the front. But that is again an optional thing because this one is like this on both sides. Do what you want. It's your life. Spend your precious hours on this earth making floral Mickey ears however you want. So now that the back is covered, the back is definitely covered and I'm not just skipping a step because I want to uh, get out of this uh, glaringly hot light. You could just finish here. You could have finished a long time ago. And if you're getting frustrated, feel free to take breaks or whatever. Or if you want to make it a little bit more feminine, add a little bow with the same ribbon that you used before. And it's real easy. You just make a bow, then you hot glue it on. Wham boom bam. Okay, I think we're done. Well, I guess you're right, Lucy. I guess I don't really need um, two sets of the exact same pair of ears, huh? Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, airplanes. It's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery or rewrite history. Duck tales, woo! Every day we're out there making duck tales, woo! Tales of daring, do bad, and good luck tales, woo! Did it danger? What's behind you? Ooh. Not ponytails or cotton tails, but duck tails. Ooh.